Howdy, howdy everybody. This is Tyler Cross coming to you with another Minecraft video. This is going to be on Minecraft Dungeon, so let's get this started. So we're going to create a new character, and let's go with this one right here. She looks strong, and yeah, exactly. Alright, so let's go on down. We're going to select this, and let's get this game going. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go to Squid Coast. This is kind of the tutorial stage, if you will. Alright, so we're going to make our way to the village here. Uh, standard controller, we're going to hit the A button to, uh, to hit stuff. You can use the right controller to roll and do sort of things. And I'm going to toggle the map on. I find that I really like this. It, it's a little cheaty in some ways. It takes away from the uh, exploring everything. Uh, but I find that it's also a little easier, especially if I am wanting to get achievements such as finding uh, chests and, and whatever. I just like to always explore little things and you can get those clues off of the maps that come out. And as you can see, there's a little chest there, so it'll show up on there. And if you actually uh, hold down the map button there, you can actually get a visual of uh, what areas you've explored as, as it's highlighted there. And it will also tell you how many secrets and how many chests there are in each of the levels. So we're going to go back and take a look and see what treasures we got. Oh, I got a bunch of emeralds. All right. We need emeralds. We're up to 12 if you look down the bottom right hand corner. Well, let's see if I can get through this without dying. I'm really bad at this roll. Alright, so let's continue on up. You can see the little marker up there. It tells you when things are going to happen, what direction it wants you to go. And I generally look at that as don't go this direction until you've explored everything else. Because it wants you to complete the story and not necessarily explore uh, everything else that's going on. It's this little... Sometimes going in these little nooks I hear will trigger... trigger stuff, but I'm not totally positive on that. I know some of these little places will have like little treasure chests and whatnot around them. But I don't know if going through all of the little nooks actually activates it or if you just have to go through the right nook and you don't know which one it is. So it's best to try to get all of them. And just like in regular Minecraft, you get stuck with arrows and walk around with arrows in your mouth. Wish I could zoom. Oh, went away. Come here. I've never noticed that area up there. Let's get rid of these guys. You see a little area right right in front of that house in the map. Let's see if we can get over there. See if there's something there. Supply chest. That's never a good sign when you have a supply chest. That means there's a battle of some kind. Alright. Ooh! Cool! I didn't know that was there. See? That's how handy that map comes in. Alright, let's go ahead and load up on supplies. Anything back here? Nothing. Turn the volume down of that music a little bit. Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Can I get him? Oh. Ooh. Whew! We survived. 
enchantment points earned. So these enchantment points are things that you can add, uh, as you can see uh, right up here, uh, the, this is the enchantment points, that's how many emeralds you have. So these enchantment points allows you to add uh, different things to your weapons, your gear, your armor, uh, and as you can see, this particular sword, I can add smiting, and I can add freezing. And on the bow itself, I can add multi-shot and piercing. So those are really good enchantments. I, I am the kind of player, I don't like to put things on brand new weapons, just because I know things are going to be coming later on, and I don't want to waste them. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons does allow you to be able to... Uh, remove enchantments when you salvage them so you're actually salvaging all your enchantments enchantment points which is great because uh, then it's not really a waste uh, but I do just like to because if I like a weapon uh, and I put an enchantment on there and maybe I find something else that might do a little bit better but I still like some of the enchantments or whatever on that one I don't want to salvage it because then I lose the weapon itself uh, but we'll see how it goes. We also have things called artifacts, and your artifact screen is going to be in the lower, uh, or in that lower tray. So this is fireworks arrows, uh, and after we do this, I'm probably going to turn off the tips because they do kind of get in the way. Uh, but the fireworks arrow, uh, it basically turns your arrow into a, into a firework. We all love fireworks. I'm going to activate that and turn that on because that's what it's telling us that it wants us to do. And we're going to flip the switch. And just to make it happy, we're going to shoot the skelly. Ooh, how pretty. And it goes through a cooldown phase, so you have to be careful when you use those artifacts and use them in ways that are strategic. All right. Um, I can tell you I have died many a times on this one little thing because I can't run straight. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see, like, I almost ran right off. Just like that. Well, at least it puts me back on dry grass. Just making our way through this map, as you can see, we're just kind of following it. Our goal up in the top is uh, set up camp outside the town, so we're just looking for an exit, I believe. And checking all the places, let's see. So we have two chests, so both the chests have been found, and we have one secret that is still left to find. So somewhere there's probably a little chest or something around. We just need to find it. Oop, don't want to jump down there. Hello, sheepy. I can't go up there. the challenges with this type of a game is the perspective it doesn't change so you can't actually look around the buildings to see what's going on you just have your shadow that shows up I can cross there, so we'll go back around. Oh, I missed something down in that corner. Is it there? Oh. Somewhere there's a secret that I have missed. And the 
This is our exit point. You see a set up camp. So once I hit this, then I will be done. Not too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. And we'll travel back to camp and then we'll get a little summary screen of how well we did. So I didn't die, I killed 27 enemies, opened 100% of the chests, and then we're going to have the winning chest. He's kind of cute actually, a little monster chest. A fishing rod, wow. We went all that way for a fishing rod, huh? So a fishing rod, yeah. Pulls the closest mob in range to your position and stuns them. I don't think that I want to give that up. Well, I don't think I want to give up a spot for that, I should say. So, I'm just going to go ahead and salvage it. Alright, so let's continue on with the first mission. So that was the tutorial. This is the map that we have going on here. So there's lots of different areas for us to go. Uh, there's some that haven't even been revealed or unlocked yet. So once those are done, then we'll see this as it progresses. So we're going to uh, go ahead and move on to the next level, which is Creeper Woods. Uh, this is our storyline over here. It tells us all the different levels that we can fight this particular thing. So it goes all the way up to level 6. But once your power gets to a certain level, it won't allow you to default 1 or 2 or 3. It may go through and start you at level 4. So uh, be careful with that and make sure you don't jump too far ahead. So we're going to start with Creeper Woods, uh, normal difficulty, uh, level 1 for our power, because we are just a little power level 1, as you can see right here. Alright, so let's get this going. I have a very big dislike for Creepers. I don't know too many people that actually like Creepers. Right, so here's our camp, and we're just gonna continue on our journey here. We start with 80 arrows, and I am not aiming very well. We have an apple that heals 20% over three seconds. I don't didn't really need it, but and swiftness potion. Go a little faster. Ooh, I missed all these things. Oh, that was kind of weird. Must be down here. Hope there's a way to get back up. There it is. I hear a zombie. There's a few zombies. Ooh, look, that one's got some armor on it. I like these one hit kills. That one took a lot. let these guys come to me. And I don't have to worry about them sneaking up behind me. Two 
Zombies. I think I got everything over here. Oh look, what's this guy? Rescue. Okay. Did he just bow to me? I think he just bowed to me and said thank you. In his mm -hmm. kind of voice. Smash. lose durability? Doesn't look like it. Sweet. It's very handy. Alright, so here's my thoughts. The little arrow is pointing upwards, which means... Ooh, I just got hit. Ouch. Which means I should go this way first to see if I can find any good stuff. Hey, that's kind of fun. Hey. Oh. T and T. Totally would have missed out on that. That was a lot of emeralds too. And a sword. Looks like maybe a higher power sword, so I am going to switch that. And let's look at what those enchantments are. Oh, oh, oh. That's why you gotta be careful. So we'll look at that one once we get to the safe space. Safer space. Got a guy coming behind me. safer area. So I'll just hang around over here. Let's look at this real fast. Okay, so stunning and fire aspect. Well, fire aspect would be kind of cool, but let's hold off. I'm not real impressed with those. What's this? Ready for a fight. Ooh! Ding ding! That means a special place. Let's go look in this area here and see if there's anything else that needs to be looked at. I'm going to increase my life. I don't think there's anything else back here. Alright, let's go to the secret spice. I don't know what this is. Bush. I already did that. Let's travel. What does this do? Grab. Oh, 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 oh! 
I know I have that TNT on my head, but I don't know if I can run away fast enough. Ooh, an axe. I want to go lower in my weapon stuff, so I'm going to skip on that one. There are a lot of zombies. There's got to be a spawner around here, before, right? Well, that did nothing. I don't like those. I feel like that this is kind of like a meld between Minecraft and Zelda. Smash the pots for rupees, right? Ooh! What's that? Hunter's armor. Well, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, what are the enchantments? Speedy. Speed synergy. So every time I use one of those artifacts, then I go faster and then reduces the cooldown. Yeah. Nah, not impressed with that either. Alright, is that the exit out? I still have one more section I need to look at before I go that way. Alright. I see a chest there ahead of us. You know, completely forgot the fact that I have a, uh, a bow with 130 arrows. I think I'd rather whack away at it right now. Obviously. Smash. Ooh, another axe. And lots of emeralds. Alright, so level 3 axe. That's even better. So let's get rid of this one. And let's get rid of that one. 15 to 23 melee. And what does this one give me? 12 to 19. I think I'm going to switch and switch to the axe. Gotta keep her inventory clean, you know? Alright, so rampaging. After defeating, 10% chance to increase attack speed by 50% for 5 seconds. That's decent. Uh, I'm gonna hold off still. I'm gonna hold off. Alright, well let's get on out of here. We have to go this way. I think for the sake of time, I think we're going to call this the end of this first episode.